Today I'm going to give you some tips on how to loosen up as a painter. And I'm going to do it with a painting of a nude Brazilian on the beach. Let's talk about painting more loosely. I found that a lot of beginning painters, they just want it to look like what it's supposed to look like. And so they get very concerned with copying reality and making it as precise and detailed as possible. But as you get more experienced and uh, confident as a painter, it's likely that your priorities will change and you will become less interested in copying reality and more interested in interpreting it. This is what happened to me. When I first started out, I used to paint and draw very precisely and it was, you know, very detailed, realistic work. Uh, but after a while, I got good at that and I got bored and I wanted to do something more challenging. And that's when I started paying more attention to painters like John Singer Sargent and Joaquin Sorolla and a lot of other more contemporary painters that I'm still looking at. These are painters who paint realism but they keep it loose. They use big, bold brush strokes and they don't put in a lot of detail and you don't miss it. What I love about this type of painting is it's very bold and expressive and there's big, bold brush strokes. It's a lot of life and energy and you just feel like chances have been taken. And I thought, I want to paint more like that. I want to take more chances. Well, I found out pretty quickly that painting like that is a whole lot harder than painting in a precise, realistic style. In fact, over the last 40 some years, I've made it one of my major goals to become looser as a painter. And I've got a long way to go. I still have a lot to learn, but I have picked up some tricks and I'm going to share some of those with you today. This is the reference image I'm going to work from today. I actually generated this with AI, uh, but I had to tweak it a lot to remove the AI weirdness. I did that and then I ended up with something that I really liked and I thought, I'm going to paint this. So then I do my usual thing of tweaking the image in Photoshop to make it easier to paint from. This is actually kind of an artificial way to make the photograph look more like a loose painting because you're removing detail and you're limiting the number of colors and working from this kind of image rather than the straight detailed original photograph is actually great for helping to keep you loose because there's no detail to get caught up in. So I use this a lot and it helps me stay loose. The next thing I do is transfer the image to canvas with a pencil and I do this in a very rough way and I mean really rough because if you uh, do a very precise, detailed underdrawing, you're going to be a slave to it. You're going to be careful because you don't want to lose the accuracy. No, that's not a good approach. What you want is a really loose, basic underdrawing, something that just tells you more or less where the big shapes are. And that way you won't be a slave to it and you can just use it as a guide and stay loose as you're painting. Or you can do no underdrawing at all, which is even better but today I'm going to go with an underdrawing. And now it's time for the acrylic wash. I put an acrylic wash over everything. And this is actually a, a good place to begin becoming a looser painter because the way you start the painting is, is going to set the tone for the whole painting. And if you start out too careful, you're never going to get that energy back. So when you're doing the wash, this is a really good time to just go crazy, get real sloppy, Big, bold strokes, a lot of energy, take a lot of chances. It's, this is a good way to start the painting. And in this case, I'm also using different colors than I usually use just to, to mix it up a bit and, and take more chances, be a little more unpredictable. So now I'm actually about to start painting. And in order to keep myself loose, I'm not going to use a brush. Instead, I'm going to use one of my favorite brush substitutes. Let me get it. A kitchen sponge. This is a great substitute for a brush when you want to stay loose. And you don't need a new one. It's better to get a, a, a well-used one like this. Painting with a sponge is great because you can't get too careful. And it's a great way to just play and have fun and not worry too much because you know you're not going to get great results. And guess what? Sometimes you do. Now here is another great tip for painting loose. Use a brush that's way too big, like this. When you're using a brush this big, it's very hard to stay careful. In fact, it's impossible. You can't paint any detail with this. It forces you to paint big with bold strokes, and that's a good thing. 
So remember, don't use a brush that's the right size. Use one that's too big. And here is the third excellent tool for staying loose, and that is the palette knife. When you paint with a palette knife, again, you can't really do any detail. It's about big, bold strokes, and it's also a great way to put a lot of paint down at once. background it's relatively easy for me to stay loose but once I start painting the body or the face then I start to tighten up and I get too careful why because I care too much so this is a really good time to switch to the kitchen sponge because when you're painting with a sponge you really don't have any control it's just these big splotches that are happening and all you can do is try to get those splotches in more or less the right place but look what happens look how bold and alive this is At this point in the painting, I'm back to using brushes pretty much all the time because I'm refining the shapes and it's getting more finished. But because I build up this momentum of looseness, I'm using the brush in a looser way than I would normally. So that's helping me maintain looseness all the way up to the end of the painting. At least that's the ideal.
just a finished painting. I could have stopped earlier, and I probably should have, but uh, I still feel like it's got a pretty good energy and stayed pretty loose, so I'm pretty happy with it. I call it Afro-Brazilian on the Beach, and you can see it on my website now. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed watching me paint and maybe got some tips on staying loose. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. That inspires me to do more videos. And if you got a little inspired watching me paint, go put on your painting pants and go paint and stay loose.